Hello everyone, this is Tyler with um, aka GSO Hoover and today I am showcasing the very early and rare early Kenmore Powermates. 1960-1961. This went to the Lady Kenmore Whisper Tone and this goes to this machine right here which I will be doing in a video this evening. This one's cracked, not in wonderful shape. I'm gonna get it in better shape. I gotta find somebody who's gonna weld this pot metal. That's gonna be difficult. Um, I'm gonna set it off to get it nice, make it nice and clean again and then get this Kenmore logo redone and then get this Powermate logo. This is Pretty much the very first Sears Powermate. Um, Whirlpool was the second to the game, I believe, in 1958. I'm setting out this on the ground while I get this open. If I can, if it decides to open for me. Um, Whirlpool was the second to the game with Sears in 1950. Eight. Lewitt was of course the first with the electronic. Now here's the inside of the 50, uh, the 50s, late about 58 through 60, 61. 61 they went to this. Now this was the top of the line. This was top of the line too. The bristles are actually fairly stiff. Um, I need to put a better belt on it. Honestly, it slips a little bit. Um, I'm not going to really do much vacuuming with it since I need to find a belt. Probably can match something up. Looks looks something that could be easily done. But I just wanted to showcase this. So you see the motors, all one unit, and then it's all open. This is what this looks like. This was not made by Panasonic or made by anything other than Whirlpool. Whirlpool made these machines. Whirlpool got Sears to build their vacuum cleaners starting in the late 50s. And um, after that, after the hostile takeover of Burtman Electric in 1950, I believe 1957, 1958, that time frame, that's when Sears started building, getting their machines built for them. So you check your inside power made occasionally for lint and build up. This is the lint and nap that your old cleaner hasn't always missed. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, these machines were expensive in their day, and it's not that heavy. But this, these machines were extraordinarily expensive. Now notice this one has a light, and this one does too. Now this one is... Um, I got this one from Tom Gasco, along with a Model 80 Kenmore, which is like the Whisper Tones, but it's a step down. Now I'm going to get it repainted and get it all nice and pretty right here, and probably get this redone eventually, but I'm not worried about it. The fact that I have this, I'm happy. So here's your light. Here it is. It's fairly light. Um... And here's the bottom of it. Now you can't. No, oh, you can. So Sears was actually very smart in some of these early ones, power nozzles. Oh, this thing's dirty. Oh well. Um, the couple times that I have used it, it's gotten dirty, and the belt is on its way out. But I don't hardly ever use it. Um, the bristles are actually not as stiff as that. I don't know why. Um, plastic wheels. These wheels are plastic. There's only two wheels on this one. This one's not that easy to use. I'll fire it up in a, in a few, but um, the suction channel up here. This is direct connect, as you can see. Sears had direct connect, I believe, in 59, 
or fifth, probably about 1959, they also had early electric hoses. Now here's an early Sears electric hose, direct connect. Now notice this looks just like the later ones, but this is a little different. This is actually holds up better from what I've noticed. And you see that? Patent pending. So they hadn't patented this yet. And then you have a suction relief valve. This is very comfortable. I love this hose. This one's in really nice shape. The original hose that would have came on this machine would have stopped about here and it would have had a little st straight stubby end at the end of it with a direct connect right in here. Much like that along that end. So you can see patent pending and pardon the dog hair. Um, I put that down, shouldn't have put that down, but here's put the thing down while I jab along, try to put this back in. So this machine, interestingly enough, back to the wheels, it also has two wheels on the front. Now that's interesting. Power motor, power mate motor is pretty much the same as that one. I think it's a little bit smaller. Um, it goes right up in here. And then here's the brush roll. Now, I'll never find a brush roll for this machine. Probably have one turned eventually on a lathe and try and make one. But God, that was easy. Yeah, you just snap them in. You got these cute little wheels and then it lays all the way flat and that's for the 61 whisper tone so I'm going to get this thing set up and I'm going to use both of them and uh, I'll show you these two with this monstrosity back here give me a second so here's this power mate the belt's useless, so I'll just show it turning on the light on real quick. And the vacuum cleaner, this vacuum cleaner in particular, turns the power nozzle on on low and on high. So there's that power nozzle. Now this other one I will be able to vacuum with. Not very much. No power nozzle likes this carpet. Now this works a million times better. Let me check and see. Okay. This works a million times better. If you can see it on camera. Going in and having direct connect. Um, the original hose would have been a pistol grip hose that is so rare it's not even funny how rare it is I only know of one in existence and um, it's not going anywhere so. there. I just gotta be very careful because these things are very old so we're gonna use this on high Lady Kenmore Whisper Tone Power Mate. Do a better video later when I get 
belts matched up for these. I'm sure a modern day power nozzle belt would work perfectly for both of them. Um, but thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.